In this example, we want to solve a radical equation with two radicals in it. Now, the first thing to note here is that we have one on each side. That's important. If that's not the case, then rearrange the equation to make that the case. All right. Once you have one on each side, square both sides to get rid of the radical. But we're going to need one really important equation to solve this thing. It's the binomial squared equation, a, a plus b quantity squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we really want to focus on that plus 2ab. It's really easy to forget that. I would say 75% of the errors on this type of exercise come from forgetting that 2ab term. Okay, so we square both sides, squared and squared. So here I'm calling square root of x minus 2, a, and 3, b. Right, so when we square that out, we get a squared, x minus 2, plus 2ab, so 2 times 3 is 6, rad x minus 2, plus b squared, plus 9. All that equals, well, this is nice over here. The square just undoes the square root, so we have 4x plus 1. Okay, well, we've made progress. We've reduced it from two square roots to one square root. And now we want to isolate this square root and then square both sides again. So we, our goal is to isolate this now. Okay, so let's work on that. Let's see, we can rewrite this as x plus 7 plus 6 rad x minus 2 equals 4x plus 1. I just combined like terms there. Okay, I want to get this 6 rad x minus 2 by itself. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides and subtract 7 from both sides. This gives 6 rad x minus 2 equals 3x minus 6. Okay, we're still trying to get rid of that square root there, so we square both sides again to get rid of the square root. What does that give us? Well, 6 squared is 36, and then square root squared just gives us x minus 2. On the right side, we're again going to use this binomial squared equation. Actually, this time we'll have a minus, but the equation works the same, right? So this is 9x squared minus 3x times 6 times 2 is 36x plus 6 squared, 36. Okay, anytime you see an x squared and an x, you want to get a zero on the other side of the equal sign. So let's work towards that. Let's see, this is 36x minus 72 equals 9x squared minus 36x plus 36. So let's get all the numbers and variables to the right and a zero on the left. All right, so zero equals uh, 9x squared is still there. I'm subtracting a 36x off of both sides. That gives us minus 72x. And then I'm going to add 72 to both sides plus 108. Now, if you want to have a really bad day, start factoring this thing right here. right? You can spend a good afternoon doing that, and only then will you realize you could have factored out a GCF all along. right? Note that all three of these terms are divisible by 9. So out comes a GCF of 9. So this is actually 0 equals 9 times x squared minus 8x plus 12. Okay, and then we can just divide that 9 out. Right, divide both sides by 9, so really we're just looking at 0 equals x squared minus 8x plus 12. Okay, this we can factor. We're looking for factors of 12 that add up to negative 8. So let's see here. How about factors of 12 that add to negative 8? Negative 6, negative 2. Then setting both of these factors equal to 0 gives us x equals 6 and x equals 2. Now you want to check both of these solutions in the original to make sure they're not extraneous, to make sure they actually are solutions. And you always want to do that with radical equations. In this case, I'll save you the work. I've already checked them. They do check out both of them. So our answer is x equals 6 and x equals 2. Two answers to that one. For b, we have rad 2x minus 4 minus rad 3x plus 4 equals negative 2. Step 1, get one of these radicals on each side. 
So let's add rad 3x plus 4 to both sides. This gives rad 2x minus 4 equals rad 3x plus 4 minus 2. Okay, so always make sure you get one radical on each side of the equal sign before you square both sides. Now we want to get rid of the square roots, so we're going to square both sides, but one very important equation comes into play here, the binomial squared equation. And again, we're especially careful not to forget our 2ab here. Okay, so squaring out the left side here, that's just 2x minus 4, but on the right we're going to use the binomial squared equation. This is our a, this is b, so this gives a squared, so 3x plus 4 minus 2ab, so that's minus 4 rad 3x plus 4 plus b squared plus 4. Okay, well we can simplify this up a little bit here. 2x minus 4 equals 3x. 4 plus 4 is 8, so plus 8 minus 4 rad 3x plus 4. Next, we want to isolate the square root. Isolate this on one side of the equal sign here. So let's keep this on the right and get everything else on the left. All right, so I'm going to subtract off 3x from both sides, and I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Okay, this gives us minus x minus 12 equals negative 4 rad 3x plus 4. Now right now I have a lot of negatives floating around that I don't really want. So I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of all these negatives. This gives x plus 12 equals 4 rad 3x plus 4. Now we're ready to square both sides again. Right, square both sides again. And this time I'm going to use the plus version of this rule here. So this also works with plus. We just have a plus here. No problem. All right, so not forgetting the 2ab term. On the left, we have x squared plus 2 times 12 is 24x plus 12 squared, 144. Then on the right, 4 squared is 16. And then squaring the square root just gets rid of the square root, 3x plus 4. So now we just have to solve this equation. Remember, anytime we see an x squared and an x in the same equation, we want to get it set equal to 0 on one of the sides. So let's clean this up a little more here. x squared plus 24x plus 144. I'm distributing the 16 through equals 16 times 3, 48x plus 16 times 4, 64. Let's get a 0 on the right hand side here. So we're going to subtract off 48x and 64. That gives us x squared minus 24x plus 80 equals 0. Okay, so we just have to factor this now. Okay, so we need factors of 80 that add up to negative 24. Factors of 80 that add to negative 24. So let's just take a second here and look at all the factors of 80. Let's see, it's 1 in 80. Well, that doesn't do it. If we add those together, don't get anywhere close. 2 and 40. No, that's 42 or 38. 3 and, well, 80 is not divisible by 3, so nothing there. 4 and 20. Now we're in business because 4 plus 20 is indeed 24. Let's fix up the negatives a little bit. So this is actually negative 4 times negative 20. That does the trick because then we add those, we get negative 24. So x minus 4, x minus 20. Setting both of those terms equal to 0 in solving gives us x equals 4 and x equals 20. Now you'd want to go back and check each one of these answers in the original. I've already done that, so I can assure you they work out, but it's a great exercise to try on your own. Check those out, make sure they work. They do.